Hi fish people and welcome to my brackish aquarium well I'm sure as you saw yesterday my plastic bottle fish trap was a failure at catching the mosquito fish anyways um, I caught the blennies and the gobies and the shrimp and even the snails tried to get in there crabs uh, but the mosquito fish wouldn't go in there um, so I did what I had to do. I took the rock out and I took the coral head out, which was, I guess, beneficial to me. I, uh, made a lot of mistakes starting this, you know, I never done this before. So I cleaned up a lot. I got rid of a lot of the larger shells I had in there. I also propped the rock and the coral up higher on pieces of that coral so water flow gets underneath them better uh, I even kind of arranged the coral a little better uh, to my liking um, but I got a lot of the mosquito fish out I actually got eight of them out and there's still a few in there's still you know quite a bit in there more than I still like I, I actually left more in there than I, I, I should have but three of them are shiners two of them are like a mullet so you're seeing the rest of them are the mosquito fish and what I have is the females and two males because I wish for them to you know they, they breed like mad and uh, everything else in the tank eats that the pipe fish eat the fry everything eats all that so everyone in here is pretty happy um, uh, I keep losing um, the pipe fish uh, due to their starvation um, but now that the mosquito fish are gone, uh, I fed them this morning, and uh, I saw a couple of them eating. Um, one of them, uh, like I said, died the other night, and another died last night. There's still three left, the big female and, t and two males. So uh, they're doing happy and healthy. I'm going to do a water change today, and I'm also going to get some barnacles, uh, because the barnacles really help... Um, a lot of the stuff in the tank eats the barnacles, especially the pipefish and uh, the gobies. They eat the little, um, you know, worms and all the little creatures that live on the barnacles. And um, I'm also got to get some shells with like in, in rock covered in moss uh, because the fish and uh, ev and everyone else likes to eat that moss. All the vegetarians. Um. But other than that, everyone's doing really well. Everyone's really happy. Um, I'm going to keep you updated on how this is going. Um, since this is going so well, and I'm, I'm talking to other people who are into this hobby, I've even recently um, found someone on YouTube that does the same thing. He catches uh, the wild fish here in Florida and uh, puts them in a tank. He doesn't uh, do the water like I do, but um, it's neat to find other people that are interested in the same thing anyway. So... Um, if this interests you, uh, please let me know. And um, like I said, I I've never really just done a wild fish tank before, aquarium with wild species and just getting the water from the river and not doing uh, water testing or anything. So if there's any advice you can give me, you know, please, please let me know. Um, you know, a, a lot of these species of crab in here have gone unnamed. Um, you can see these goby uh, and the blennies swimming around here. Uh, they're really neat. I actually thought I only had one of the eyebrow barnacle blennies in here, but I actually have two of them, which is really neat. Uh, they're so shy that uh, it's like, oh, well, there's another one. Uh, there's also a lot of other different creepy crawlies I've noticed in here uh, that I've picked up that um, you know I didn't notice uh, putting other creatures in the tank. Anyways, um, like I said, uh, later on this afternoon, uh, tonight, I'll download a video uh, of me going to the river and getting water for a water change and uh, trying to get some tiny shrimps and some barnacles and some shells covered in moss. Anyways, uh, everybody, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this. I really do. And uh, this is my beautiful fish tank. I'll just let it roll for a couple seconds and let you watch everyone roam around. Have a good day.